Hi guys and girls, Gallifrey 397 here. Um, it's about quarter to eight in the morning. Um, I wouldn't usually be at this time on my uh, sort of summer break. So, uh, um, so basically today I'm heading to London uh, to with a talk uh, with John Sim, uh, which is happening in London. So I'm getting the coach up there today, um, and then getting the tube there. But also last night I organised me with Adam the Ultimate Hoovium. Um, so we're going to do some stuff beforehand and possibly after the event as well. Um, so I thought I'd vlog it. Um, and I'm currently on my cup of tea now. A uh, nice cup of tea. <laughs> so yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you in London. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can and hopefully when I get back, sort of edit some linear timeline. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in London. Go on. Keep calm um, and watch Doctor Who mug, so cheers. This is the place where Holdy had his debut episode of Deep Breath. Adam's been here, where the Man of Steel premiered. Yeah, I was. Massive premiere. Yeah, that was. Yeah, it's such a brilliant place. I love the fountain. Morning. Morning. Okay, right. Well, as you know, we're in London today, and we've just managed to catch a limited cover badge film in series four of the Turtle. It's just over there right now. So we've just got the Johnson Masterclass. So that was our sort of intention today. Um, oh, hi everyone, yeah, it's me again. Um, yeah, it was, what, do you, what do you think about this John Samaskas? It was really cool. Really cool. Uh, it, it was very good. It was, it, was, it was just great hearing him talk about his yeah, career, awesome. really. I did, I did get to very, very briefly yeah. uh, speak, speak to the, the man. Very, very briefly, yeah. yeah. Because, of course, there had been uh, rumours about uh, there had been some sort of yeah. Life on Mars uh, reunion, like yeah. a one-off special or a film, and someone put the question to him, and he's like, oh, it's not been in the press is it? <laughs> and I just go, uh, yes it has. Yeah. And then he goes, is yeah. it? And then yeah. like that that was literally it. But like like uh, so for, for just just that little moment yeah. it's all it's there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well I think what our viewers would like to know, um we see what we sort of talked about the master and um, he said it was really um, Rusty Davis's sort of idea to go the further because I know look, he gets yeah, a lot of critique. He, for he being said insane, how but... he wanted to make the character really dark, whereas yeah. Russell wanted to, to make him more yeah. like a nutter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but no, we had, a, we had a really good time. Um, yeah, but, but it's interesting how uh, he wanted to take the character into a different approach. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're, we're big fans of his version of the Master, but would we enjoy him as much if he played it well, the way I, he actually wanted to? Yeah, well, I enjoyed his sort of, how, like, uh, I don't know if you noticed today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know if you noticed today, but he did have a sort of Roger Delgado Master beard. Yeah, he did. I yeah. don't think that was intentional, because no. I just think that's his, uh, his casual yeah. do now. But yeah. But yeah, I mean, you could tell at first he was a little, he's not used to, and he did mention this when he came on, that he wasn't yeah. used to doing uh, questions and answers sort of thing. So I think he was a bit sort of nervous, because that's where he really lives is when he's within his characters, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, he yeah. did mention 
uh, he doesn't think actors should be celebrities and they should uh, no which is a personal sort yeah, of thing which, yeah which yeah and I, I agree with him because uh, I, I do think it kind of spoils the people mm -hmm. you portray yeah. if people are just going to know about your whole life yeah. it's just a bit, a bit um, pointless it's a bit is, of a waste yeah. of time it is yeah um, yeah we had a great time um, and we're both about to get some China food we're just going to meet up with Adam again yeah and hopefully um, we'll go to another one of these things yeah point. we could yeah yeah hopefully someone we're interested in but yeah no it's really awesome awesome day so uh, and he'll continue this when he gets home <laughs> So thank you very much Billy for the uh, swift intro, um, so yes today is Wednesday uh, and I'm home now, um, I will be going back to London in the end of this video sort of doing an outro summary of the day, um, but before I do that I just thought I'd like to show you um, what I got from London yesterday, uh, I also as I visited the Forbidden Planet which um, Adam thankfully took me to. It was just insane, that Forbidden Planet. Um, it was multi-storied, uh, and it was just huge. I was like in the candy shop, really. I was saying, I only want to buy the 12 dot sort of screwdriver. Um, but as I went on through the store, uh, Adam was like, oh, look at this one, look at this bit. And it was just like, oh my goodness. Uh, I picked up much more than I anticipated, basically. So as I said, first of all, I did pick up the 12 dot new sort of screwdriver. I've been wanting this for ages. Um, I was going to order this, but I didn't get around to it. Uh, and it was just there, so I thought I might as well pick it up. I said, it's absolutely loved your sign. Uh, there have been a few complaints about it, but I think for a toy version, it, it, it's amazing. It looks like a replica, um, as you can see on the back there, prop in use. Um, so yeah, no, this will be great, um, and also I'll be opening this later, and it'll be a great addition uh, to the long line of sort of screwdriver toys. Next thing I picked up was something that I haven't actually seen in every Forbidden Planet store, I haven't seen it online to buy, um, but it was in the Forbidden Planet I went to in London, uh, which was the Sherlock action figure, um, which is 5 inch and it goes with all the rest of these uh, 5 inch figures, and it's like the Tunnel Doctor set where you sort of open it up and uh, the mini Sherlock is inside, it's got so many accessories. Uh, I think they are doing a Watson and a Moriarty figure as well, uh, so that's going to be really cool, so I might get those. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to probably keep it boxed. Yeah, it's great to have another 5 inch figure which goes along uh, with the Dot 2 5 inch range. So after listening to Time Reaver from the 10th Doctor Adventures uh, sort of, uh, audio set, uh, I heard that there was a book that was sort of in line with the Time Reaver story that was uh, sort of connected to it, so I decided to pick it up, uh, Dot 2 In The Blood. Um, written by Jenny T. Cogan, um, it also features Dr. and Donna. Um, I read the first couple of chapters on the way home from London yesterday, uh, and it was, it was a really good read. Um, it was really intriguing. It'll be interesting to see how it sort of connects to the time of the story, as I've been told. Um, so, yeah, a great read, so I look forward to sort of finishing it. I picked up a Time Squad uh, figure, and this one is the Clockwork Man. Um, I've got a couple of these, um, obviously, we've got a new wave. Uh, I've only picked up the ones which are even new, I'm not picking up any re releases, so like the 12th Doctor and uh, Clara I've got, um, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, this is a new sort of variant of that, so I thought, what the hell, I'll just pick it up. Um, it's at a good price, um, so yeah. Uh, pretty cool varium. The final thing I went to in the Forbidden Planet store was the, the Big Finish section and it was just like a, the library for Big Finish pretty much um, and I, I was just sort of like all these different box sets and that um, but I decided to pick up a Torchwood uh, Forgotten Lives which is the next one I need in the Torchwood line uh, so I'm sort of slowly buying them so basically what I'm doing is sort of listening to one, buying one, listening to one, buying one um, and hopefully by the time Outbreak comes out I'll have listened to all the two series uh, which have been released so far. Um, yeah, I'm interested in this one because the two previous to this, The Conspiracy and Fall to Earth, they've been set before Miracle Day um, and this is uh, I think four years uh, after Miracle Day. Um, so this can be interesting. Obviously it was quite funny because Miracle Day did leave on a cliffhanger um, to be interested in how they sort of either address that or pretend it never happened. Um, so I'm really interested in listening to this one. So yeah, there's all the stuff I picked up. Again, there was so much to take in that Forbidden Planet store. Um, it's probably one of the best stores in the UK, I think, personally, the ones I've been to anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get back to my TARDIS now and go back to Leicester Square. Just got to go over here and go to TARDIS, yeah. yeah. So I'm currently at uh, Leicester Square. Um, we've just got some drinks, we've just got some food. Um, we've met with Adam. It was awesome Sonic, I'm here with Billy as well. Um, so yeah, no, we've had, we've had a great day. Um, I'll just, just get everybody's closing thoughts. We'll start with you, Adam. How was your 
Uh, it was great. Uh, I didn't do the John Sim thing, but I went around Freeze yeah. Living Paddock, got this, and I went to the Who shop. Bit of a trek, but uh, it was it was a good shop. I, I liked what I saw. Yeah, there. Um, but you, you had to go to the other side of London. Didn't I you? had to go literally to the other side of London, but it was fun and uh, it was quite cool. Uh, got some photos of that. Yeah. And yeah, I'm back with my friend back back here in the square. Yeah, yeah it's just funny because uh, I do think uh, Reese is quite worried about you because he, he was saying, so where's Adam? Where's Adam? <laughs> oh, the I don't think we'll find you again, but <laughs> um, did you buy anything in the Who shop? Or? No, 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 no. My budget's no. blown on this uh, new Sonic. He's been carrying it around all day. Everybody's been looking, thinking, what's he got in his hat? To be fair, I, I was going to get, a, there was a TARDIS and a Dalek there, so I had to, you know, and use also, it. Also, uh, when earlier on, I don't know if you saw, when we were in the uh, M&M place, and you know you were going with the Sonic, to uh, to the M and M things that were stood there like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, there was someone who was looking. He was sort of like <laughs> that because uh, he probably didn't know what it was, of course. So no. it's quite uh, quite. Funny. Yeah. Well, no one has seen as far as Hellbent, so that that would make no. perfect sense. <laughs> They've got a really good thing for doing that. Um, what are your clothes for today? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's the question. Um, as a whole, it's, it's been very good. It was, it was great seeing uh, John Sim talk. Uh, he had a lot of very interesting things to say. I don't, I don't believe they had it officially filmed uh, uh, inside. Of there, there, there were, there were some photographs no, taken, but there was a few photographs taken. Uh, there was no, uh, like the audience weren't allowed to take any pictures or no. any videos. Uh, it would have been nice if they had someone official doing a video, mm. just for retrospective to look back on yeah. the, the actual thing, and also for people who couldn't get to the event, like such me. as him, like me, yeah, such as this yeah. young man right here, <laughs> uh, so they could uh, just see how it was. Because I'm sure you would have been quite. Interested yeah, they should have done the same thing when Eccleston was uh, doing something, something like around London that oh, Eccleston was. Oh, yeah. was that a film? Uh, I'm not sure, but I know there were some people who were there who had photos and I think they signed the regeneration box set of it. Yeah, 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 it was just a yeah. Oh, right. Well, uh, anyway, but as, as a whole, uh, yeah, it was very good. Uh, he's very engaged in person. He's quite, quite polite, you know. Uh, he, when he's taking you to speak, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, little, little, <laughs> little smile. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sure. Hello. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure uh, a lot more will come back to me when I've had a chance for it to sink yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, it, it was very good as a whole. Awesome. It's great to hear. Um, so, yeah, we're, I think we'll be sort of going back um, on our long journey back home soon. Um, I just want to say thank you to Adam. No problem. Yeah, thank because... you very much, Adam. Yes. Like yes. No problem. Absolutely no problem. Because me, me and Billy will be so lost. We, I say, we don't live in London. That, that would area. be like just an adventure on its own. Yeah. Us being lost. That, the hunt for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we've had an awesome day. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so, uh, as always, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, please subscribe to Adam Thank you very much. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to him, subscribe to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's the thing. If yeah. you want to subscribe to me, subscribe to him, yeah. because I do all my content within Through his my channel. channel. Yeah. And uh, we, we do have, uh, I won't go into it too much here, but we do have some very good, uh, yeah. interesting things on yeah. their way. So stay yeah, tuned. Do, yeah. So, um, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Do you want to do the bye-bye together? Yeah. All right, okay. I'll try to get in. Bye-bye. Oh.